As a Christian, uh, you know, what we believe is that Jesus is the image of full humanity and full divinity put together, which logically is an impossibility. You're either one or the other. So we have non-duality at the core, at the center of the whole mystery. You know, and then he says himself, I and the Father are one. So we have the human Jesus totally identifying with the divine God. Uh, we have Jesus being uh, material and yet clearly a highly spiritually evolved person. So you would have thought that Christianity would have been, uh, you know, masterful at understanding non-duality because our basic doctrines can't be understood without it. <laughs> and yet, what happened, of course, it got filtered through Greek thinking, and I'm not saying Greek thinking isn't wonderful, it is. But it tends, for the sake of clarity, to be rather dualistic. It differentiates, it, it clarifies. And so that filter originally through the Greek mind and then overtaken largely by the West, well, not entirely, but largely, uh, we just didn't develop. We didn't develop the non-dual understanding, uh, and we didn't teach it to people. So they had a doctrine that Jesus is fully human and fully divine, but they didn't have the mind to really know how to understand that. So you can see why we emphasize belief. Well, believe it, <laughs> not really experience it, you see. They didn't know how to experience it, for the most part, except at the mystical level. And, of course, we've always had the Christian mystics who got it. <laughs> but we never used the word non-dual. We needed the East to give us the word. It's, and once you have the word, then the clarification follows afterwards, it seems to me. Yeah. <laughs>